Can you really have too many videos about three-way switches? No, I don't think you can. So here's another one. This video should help you understand how three-way switches work and how to use whatever smart switch you have in a three-way switch configuration. At least that's my hope. Here we go. There's nothing revolutionary about what I'm gonna show you. Lots of people have done videos about how to do a three-way smart switch. None of this is plugged in right now, so just relax. <laughs> when you're evaluating your existing switch setup to determine how you can hook up a smart device like the Shelly or the Sonoff Mini, the first thing you need to determine is where does the power come in from the circuit breaker and where do the wires go out to the light? In this first situation that I'm going to show you here, the power comes in and the light goes out from the same box. This would be the same switch box or junction box. The only thing that's in the other junction box on the other side is just the switch. This is an easy situation to wire up, so hopefully this is what you find. Now, as far as how these three-way switches are wired, we've got three poles on each of the three-way switches. This one I'm gonna call the left pole because it's on the left-hand side of the switch. This one I'm going to call the right pole because it's on the right hand side of the switch. And the black screw, and I think this is a pretty universal marking, even in other countries, I hope. The black screw is the common. So what you've got inside here is a switch that's going between the left pole and the right pole, but the base of the switch is still the common wire. In my scenario, I've got the white wire on the left pole and the red wire on the right pole and the black on the common. And when you go to the other switch, what you'll see is that the wire that you had on the right pole over here will go to the left pole on the other switch. And the wire that you have on the right pole goes to the left pole on the other switch. They crisscross. Now let's look at these other connections. This is the neutral that comes from the circuit breaker. This is the neutral that goes out to the light. This is the neutral that goes into the Shelly switch. Neutral pole, right there. White wire, neutral pole. This is the line wire from the circuit breaker. We're gonna need a new piece of wire to connect it to the line input on the Shelly. Then we're gonna connect the input terminal on the Shelly to the same line bundle of wires. And then we're also gonna connect the common wire from the common pole on this switch to the same bundle of line wires. So you've got a lot of line connections. So the line comes in, it goes to the Shelly line, it goes to the input pole, the I, the marked one labeled I, and it goes to the common pole on the switch. The wire from the switch connection goes to the common pole on the other three-way switch. It should be a black wire. Uh, then the only other connection that we haven't talked about is the output. So the output on the Shelly right here goes to the light. Shouldn't be a surprise. It's this black right along the bottom. So ultimately, the Shelly is in charge of controlling power to the light. So you can control the Shelly directly through the app or home assistant or whatever, and tell it to turn the lights on or off. But it's also sensing on its switch terminal what's happening with your three-way switches. And based on what the three-way switches are doing, the Shelly will toggle the relay, which turns the light on or off. Seems like it's time for a demonstration. Now I am gonna power this up and I'm gonna be very careful not to poke myself with anything sparky. Okay, so manual switches work just like you would expect. You can, you can see the light come on. The other switch, can turn it off. The switch, turn it back on. In the Shelly app, we can toggle it to turn the light on. And then we can turn it off here. And we can turn it on here. And we can turn it off in the Shelly app. So this is a full functional three-way switch scenario using the Shelly. The requirement here, as I said at the very beginning, is that you have the power coming in and the light wires going out from the same junction box. All right, Sonoff's turn. 
Now I've got the Sonoff Mini hooked up in the same scenario. Again, power coming in and going out from the same switch box. This makes it pretty darn easy. You've got line in and neutral in from the circuit breaker. You've got another neutral, which is going to the light. And then you've got the line out that goes to the light. Then one of the switch legs go to, goes to common on one switch and the other goes to common on the other switch. So in this case, they're both black wires. This black wire and that black wire. And they just go to the two different contacts that are used as switches. That's it. Let's power it up. We can control it mechanically. We can also control it with the Sonoff. And if the Sonoff has it on, we can still flip it off with the mechanical switches and go back. Again, the biggest difference here is that these switch terminals, there's only three volts going through this. Should still be fine as far as resistance and voltage drop or anything funny like that. So that's that scenario. They both work equally well as long as you have power coming in and wires going out to the light in the same switch box. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. A lot of my favorite projects use custom PCBs like the BH Onofre, all of the Quinn LED boards, and the HA switch plate. Ordering from PCBWay is pretty easy, and they're always running some kind of special, so you can be pretty sure that you're getting a good deal. They deliver fast, but most importantly, it's good quality stuff. So if you've got a project that needs custom PCBs, check out PCBWay. In this three-way switch scenario, you've got power coming in from the circuit breaker, going to the junction box where the light is in the ceiling. The neutral from the circuit breaker connects to the neutral for the light. The hot wire from the panel will connect to a white wire that's going out of the box and down to your first three-way switch. If you had a good electrician, this would probably have some sort of black mark on it, indicating that it is carrying the hot side of the circuit. The black wire from the light also goes out the box with the white. These two wires are what will go to the common poles on your three-way switches. So this black wire is going to the common pole on the first three-way switch. The white from here connects to the white from a bundle of three that will be traveling to the next three-way switch. The other two wires in this bundle, the black and the red, go to the non-common poles on this switch. Red goes to one here, black goes to one over here. And again, this black wire goes to the common pole here. Now when we go to the second switch, this white wire that was the continuation of the power into the box is coming into this switch box and going to the common pole over here. And then again, the red and the black are going to the other two poles on the switch. And they switch sides. So the black over here is on the same side as the common. Over here, it's the red that's on the same side as the common. Now, we need to insert our smart device in here. Starting with the Sonoff. Black from the light goes to the line out on the smart switch. Neutral from the light goes to one of the neutrals on the Sonoff. Neutral from the circuit breaker goes to the other neutral connection on the Sonoff. And then the black from the circuit breaker goes to the line in. Now we're just left with these two wires that we're leaving the switch box by the light and going to our three-way switches. All we do with those is connect one to one switch terminal, the other to the other switch terminal. Easy peasy. You don't have to change anything in the switch boxes down here. You can do all the work right here. This is the situation I wish I had because it's probably the easiest one of them all. Now let's put the Shelly in here. So here's the Shelly now in the same configuration. You got wires that come in from the circuit breaker. The neutral goes here. We have another neutral that comes out and goes to the Shelly and another that goes to the light. Then you've got the line or the black wire that comes from the circuit breaker, goes into this wire nut. And from there, we have connections that go to the line contact, to the I contact, and out here, these are the wires that go out to the switches. The other wire here, goes to the switch contact. And then the last wire goes from the output of the relay 
to the light. Slightly more complicated connection pattern here, but not too bad. And it works just like you would expect a smart three-way switch to work. So in the US, or at least in my house, the more common way that you will see your three-way switches wired is like this. You've got wires coming in from the circuit breaker going to one junction box and the light wires coming out of the other. In this scenario, most smart switches are not going to be able to make it work. The Shelly can still do it, but it requires that you have power coming in to the same box as where the light wires are heading out. So you probably want to see how this is wired up. Start with the simple side. This is where the power is coming in from one of the circuit breakers. Hot wire goes to the common, neutral goes to white, black from the three wire Romex goes to one pole, and red goes to the other. When you get over to this switch, again red goes to the opposite pole. And this one it's on the left pole, this one it's on the right pole. The neutral wire that is in this cord goes on to the light. The black wire from this cord goes to the opposite pole. So the black is on the left over here. This is the black out of the cable going to this right pole. Now how is the Shelly connected? The output is the black wire that goes to the light. This will always be the case. You always want the output wire going to the black that goes to the lights. No matter what kind of crazy situation you're trying to work out, the output from the Shelly has to go to the black of the light. The common pole on this switch is connected to the switch contact on the Shelly. The line in on the Shelly connects with the in pin for the relay and to the black hot wire from the second circuit. So the only way this works is if in this second junction box you've got another circuit that you can use to power the Shelly. This works because the switch on the Shelly is okay with 120 volts. You cannot do this with the Sonoff Mini. I could try it. It would be bad. It would end with a puff of smoke, if not a flame. And then the neutral from this circuit, I tied into the neutral on the Shelly. And now let's watch it work its magic. Okay, we can turn it on mechanically. We can turn it off mechanically. Then we can do it in the app. But this is where things get a little tricky because in the app, we can turn it on and then we can turn it off out here, but it doesn't follow the state in the app. So that means you'd have to press it twice in the app to get it to turn on. See? But if this is all you got, this is an option. Maybe not first choice, but it is an option. It's good to have options. Now, you may be tempted to bundle all of the neutrals together so that the neutral from this circuit goes to the input of the Shelly and also to the light and also to the three-way switch neutral which connects to the other circuit. I would not recommend you do that and this is why because with the switches in the right configuration when you disconnect one circuit Say you disconnect this breaker, there's still 120 volts on these contacts. So you're back feeding voltage to a circuit breaker that would be turned off and you might think it's off and safe and it would not be. So don't tie the neutrals together. Have the neutral from this circuit go here and the neutral from this circuit just go to the light. And in the scenario where the neutrals are separated, like I've got here, where you have the neutral from this circuit going to the neutral in, and then the other neutrals, the ones coming from this other three-way switch, just goes to the light, doesn't come into play with the Shelly at all. 
you don't get that kind of voltage spillover or back feed. You do get 7 volts, so it's not nothing. Don't mix neutrals between circuits. While this doesn't necessarily qualify as a great option for wiring a three-way switch with a smart device, it is something that's possible with the Shelly that is not possible with the Sonoff Mini. The final option for three-way switch wiring that I want to mention is the wireless option. Basically, if you want more than one switch to control the same lights, you don't actually need wires between those two switches. You need one smart switch that's wired to control the lights. Then you set up other switches that just send a signal wirelessly to the master switch that controls the lights. You could run that inter-switch communication through your smart home hub, but if you're worried about those switches not working when your smart home hub is down, like that ever happens, there are options for having switches communicate directly with each other. You can even use some battery-powered switches, like Zigbee, or others that use non-Wi-Fi frequencies to communicate. So if you're having trouble figuring out your three-way switch wiring, don't give up. There's always a way. Well, that's it. How to wire a Shelly 1 and a Sonoff Mini in a few different three-way switch configurations. Hope that was helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.